G'day everyone, here we are back in again, Maine again. Um, if you watched the last video, you will know that we ended up ducking down to Mara to do the post office. Um, yeah, so we kind of ran out of time to do this big one, but we're back here and we're ready to have a crack. So Angus is just setting the scaffold up. Now, you might remember in one of the previous videos, we've been down here and we've already started to mark out the word Sydney. So that's still on there. So what we need to do is basically start prepping the wall. Um, the weather has washed a bit of the, the black um, texture off, but it's all basically still there. We need to get up, mark out the word tooths across the top and the border. Yeah, and basically clean the, the wall and then down the bottom, it's bitter rail, which is very hard to see. Um, I think we're gonna end up remarking the majority of that out by, by eye, so. Um, at the moment, the plan is to get the scaffold up, go straight to the top, and um, yeah, concentrate on getting that tooth marked out. The wall's in pretty good condition, apart from a couple of these replacement panels that are down low, which will treat with a bit of a uh, rust preventer and sealer. So we'll, we'll clean them, um, but basically, we'll start as soon as that tooth's marked out and it's clean, I'm going to start getting the brushes out and getting the black on. So stay tuned. Before Angus um, puts the scaffold up against the wall, that there has been patched up. I did mention it in one of the uh, previous videos, but in case you didn't see it, the reason that is the way it is is because there used to be a door behind there, and then inside that shed it actually drops down. Um, I've got a bit of footage there that I might add in after this that I took previously. So, yeah, the trucks used to back up to this door just here. Um, and then on the inside of the shed, there was like a, um, a railway sleeper platform that they used to put all the bags and stuff on. So it's obviously no longer used and been patched up. Um, so it stands out a bit there, but I think once we paint it all the same colour and sign rod it, you won't really notice it as much anyway. You know what? That's why that's there. A bit like at Baldo's, where we done the eater sign, um, these doors have been added in later. So you can see there's a small door and there used to be a uh, railway sleeper stage that was built up in here that's been removed. And they used to unload the bags out the front of a little truck. It's been sheeted over there and you can see at some stage here, all the posts have been cut and this door's been added in. So that's why at the front here, I'll show you, we've got patched up corrugate and now the truck's gone, I can show you this sign on the right end too. So there's a KB sign there, you can see. At the top it says tooths, but it goes underneath the door. That door's over as far as it can go, and it starts under there. So we're still yet to make the decision on what to do there, because we're gonna lose half of a letter if we keep it original. Um, so, still not sure, we'll come back to that, but you'll see up here where the one we're marking out now has been patched up at a later date. And that's why, the, and it's a very similar one at Bordeaux, it'd been patched as well. So you can see I've started marking out Sydney, the E and Y is original, the S and Y is original, and then I've had to fill in the middle of D and N. Um, there's big tooth at the top, and I'm pretty sure all from memory is bitter ale at the bottom. Anyway, a bit more progress. It's very hard to see. You can see it probably better from the ground, but this is the T in tooth. As you can see, Angus moves the camera in there. You can just see a distinct line there. You can see a harder line coming up through here. Then if we move across, you can see, I'll tick it in for you. You can see a bit of a round corner there coming down to this dark spot, which will be the edge of the O. So it is quite challenging trying to find the original letters. Sometimes you can see them easy from a distance. But then when you actually get up close, they um, blend in and they, you can't find them as easy. So it can be quite a challenge. So um, we might have to get down, stand back, have a look, get back up, make some reference points and jump up and down a few times to try and find it. But um, yeah, basically this is just what we've got to do to, to find it. It's there, just a little bit challenging. So I know it's very hard to see. The camera doesn't pick it up very well, but that is the top of the S in Sydney. And you can just see the change in the paint on the uh, corrugated iron. It's a lot more solid, and where the letters are, it's just age different, 
which makes it a bit easier to pick up where the letters were. It's not always the case. And as you can see, up here, we found the bottom of the T. And it goes right up there. That's the T. There's a massive big arc in the bottom of it, that's why that goes up in an angle up there. Yeah, tooths. I might have said tooies in the previous video, I can't remember this. A, a tooth sign. Correct myself if I've said it wrong previously. So that's an O. We just started marking out the second O there. So we're going to move the scaffold now and head over this way. We'll pick up that, um, the T, H and S at that end and then work back into the middle again. So Getting there slowly. Well, Gussie moves the scaffold across. I'll just show you this orange that we found here. You can see that there. So basically that's what we've based this sign off. So we're going to paint the whole background orange and um, yeah the text and the border black. Now the scaffold's gone you might be able to see that a little bit better. T O O S Y D It's just a little bit faint there because the, the rain washed a bit of the markings off so I'm just remarking that out while I'm going. This one's going to stand out. It's going to be a cracker. We just ducked down the bakery to have some lunch and we are back. So now everything at the top is marked out apart from the border. So Tooth's is marked out. Sydney's marked out. Um, Angus is going to start prepping and um, getting everything cleaned up ready so we can start putting some paint on. And I'm going to have to mark out a um, bit of ale at the bottom. It's very hard to see, we can only pick up on a couple of things here and there, so um, I'm going to have to pretty much mark that whole line out from fresh on, on tipping, unless we come back at a different time of the day when the sun's shining on from a different angle, it might help pick it up, but it's um, pretty much non-existent now, so yeah, so uh, all the black's going to be done in low sheen black, like we do on most of our signs, so we're going to start with it, um, basically sign right the whole lot do the border, and then we're going to fill in all the background orange. If I get time today, we might even paint on a little bit of orange just to see. I've got some here. I'm just not sure if it's the right orange. So I'm going to put some on, let it dry, maybe second coat it, and then um, we'll be able to make the call if it's a bit too vibrant or a bit bright, but we'll soon see. Righto, stay tuned. So this is the colour that we had mixed up when we are working on the eater sign. We didn't need a whole lot of it, but um, it is called... You can see down there, rum orange, which is dangerous because it's bloody hot here and I'm getting thirsty. Anything with the word rum in it, there's a good chance I could drink it. Anyway, I'm not sure if it's going to be the right colour, so it looks pretty good. <clears throat> and we've got those samples on the wall way over there to work off, so I'm going to brush the sample on over there. We'll let it dry, I'll hit it with a second coat, and we'll just stand back and have a look. And if I think it's going to be pretty good, we'll... um. Get some more rum orange mixed up. Even though that orange is still drying, you can still just see it's slightly wet. It's um, starting to go a bit darker. and I can already tell it's not the orange we're after. Um, it's just not quite yellow enough. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll fix that. We'll find something a bit more suitable. Show us a bit of that flaky stuff coming off Angus, just jump to one side, give it a bit of a sand, show everyone how it cleans up a bit. So that loose stuff coming off, that's all the stuff we've got to remove. So that sandpaper that he's using isn't very rough, it's um, oh, it's got a little bit of coarseness about it, but yeah, it's definitely not going through the bare metal, all it does is just take all the loose bits off, and then we wipe all that over and clean it ready to paint so we just can't afford to have any loose flaky stuff there so we'll just peel off later down the track so as you can see we've started putting on a bit of paint and you can start to see the scale of how big this sign is it's going to be a beauty she's going to stand out really well this one um, especially once that orange background goes on so obviously we're writing the word Sydney there 
that's probably as far as we're going to get today um, and then we'll be back tomorrow to start painting the tooth at the top and marking out the bottom line of text but yeah I just wanted to show you even a couple of letters in sort of the the scale that this sign is going to be it goes right up to that top rail of where the um, the door runs on the runners there on the right hand side so yeah it's a decent size anyway talk soon stay tuned Righto, that's going to do us for today we've basically got everything marked out bar the bottom line of text everything's prepped um, well the top half's prepped anyway we've started brushing in Sydney as you can see tomorrow I'll start on the tooths while Angus preps down low we've primed any rust spots um, so yeah we're basically at the stage apart from marking out one line of text we're just bashing the paint on so as mentioned before we're going to do all the black first and then um, concentrate on the orange so in relation to the mobile signs that we've done that's them just there so they're not far away at all It'll be pretty cool along here once both these signs are done and the ones down the road are done as well. So make sure you come to Gamain and check the place out. It's a cool little town. Anyway, talk soon and we'll see you all tomorrow. G'day everyone. We're back down in Gamain. It's a bit better day today. It's still a bit overcast. But the sun is trying to poke through there and it's um, the temperature's good. So... Last you would have seen, we've basically got all the top of that one marked out. We've started marking out that one there in between the rain setting in. Today what I've done is gone and done a mark out for the bit of ale. So we can see bits and pieces of it, but because so much of the shed's been repaired and replaced along that bottom half, it's almost non-existent now. Um, so we've just made the decision to mark that bit out again. So basically what I'm going to do is scale it up. So... Um, you can see all my measurements there. We'll knock in a couple of baselines. And, um, yeah, just start marking it out. So, as soon as that's done, we can keep putting the black on. And then just in between things, we'll also keep working on this one here and just keep marking it. Now that door's shut, you can see where we got up to here yesterday. So, you can see the G there. E and R in lager. And if you look real close that line that runs down there that's the edge of the A you can see it through there so yeah we'll get the A marked out and there is an L there somewhere which is going to be half covered by the door like I explained so anyway let's get into it righto that is a um, bit of ale marked out you can see the B there so we just scaled it up I had all those reference measurements that I used on the computer. So we're going to duck down to the game main bakery, have something to eat. It's almost 10 o'clock and then um, come back and just start working that black paint on. I'd love to get all the, all the black on today, actually tooth and bitter ale. I'm not sure if we'll make the border but if we could get the text on that would be... Uh, a nice achievement so we'll see how we go it's already starting to get pretty warm down here so um we'll just have a crack right hope talk soon most of those clouds are gone now and it's warmed up a fair bit down here today so anyway uh gussie's just in my way a bit he's um up there prepping the top half the sign and knocking some nails in um so i've got a bit of ale all marked out and cut in as you can see and just while he's in the way there i thought i'd duck back over to the other side and um, keep working on it so we've got lager fully marked out now so I think we'll just keep going backwards and forwards between these two signs while we're here obviously the one on the left the big big one's the priority but while we're here I'll just keep chipping away at this one um, so the L's going to be behind the door unfortunately that's because the doors are being added on later on so see the A there so that's lager marked out Next we'll go up and do the KB, and then the two sit at the top, but as mentioned earlier, the T is also going to be behind the door. We're undecided whether we should paint it onto the door to complete the sign or just leave it how it is, because, um, yeah, over the years the shed's been modified and it is what it is, so we're still yet to make that call, but anyway, I'll get the uh, brush out and start filling these letters in. Talk soon.
Gussie, the first year apprentice, getting the hands on experience and getting to do some brush work, which is not very common these days. Wouldn't be a whole lot of um, apprentices out here painting on corrugated iron walls and on tipping. First coat almost done. So while um, Gussie's finishing that off, I might duck over there and start painting in lager. He, um, he got it all prepped up before, or well, that section of the sign anyway. So while there's a bit of an opportunity, you might as well just keep slapping the paint on. Right, that's a wrap for today. Um, I'm glad we got as far as I was hoping we would, so all the, the black's done. Um, we didn't even attempt the border. We actually just went over there and started on the KB sign, which you can see Gussie just finishing off. So um, Tomorrow I'm going to duck into Wagga early, get some orange, um, and then yeah, we can start putting on the background colour. So, yeah, good bit of progress. It's really starting to pop out now. This is going to be a massive sign when it's done. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait until this one's done. It's right on the main road here as you come into Gamain from Narendra. So, as you can see, plenty of caravanners and tourists coming through. So, right along this section of road is um, going to be great for tourism. So, make sure you come to Gamain and check them all out. Right, I will see you all tomorrow. G'day guys, we're back on site down here in Gamain. It is Thursday the 10th of March, which is actually my wedding anniversary. So, happy anniversary to my beautiful wife Tracy. We'll see you tonight. Anyway, we're back down here and it's a bit of a late start today. Um, we had to do a few things at the shop this morning and it's actually one o'clock now. So, I've got a charity rally coming up next week, so we're trying to juggle a few jobs at once, and um, yeah, we just didn't get down here, we had a, a few things to do first, but what we are going to do is get the scaffold out, and we're going to continue marking out that KB sign, because we've got a couple of hours, we might as well finish it off, um, and probably start painting it in, and we've also been to Wagga this morning and got all the paint background colours we need, so we might even put a few test patches on, see what it looks like, but um, yeah, so just to fill in the afternoon, we just thought we'd come down and might as well progress that other sign a bit more and then we can put both their back backgrounds on at the same time so Gussie's just bringing the scaffold out now you can see him just creeping out of the shed there I'll go mix some paints up and start slapping a bit on talk soon now the sun's ducked away you can see that tooth's better now we've got it marked out still might be a little bit hard on the camera but there's a, the two O's the T's behind the door unfortunately T H apostrophe S. So I'm going to send Gussie up there to prep the whole top from the top down to the middle. And then all we're going to do is mark out the KB and then he can keep prepping all the way back down to the bit that he's already prepped at the bottom, the lager. He's mixing up paint now for me. So while he's prepping that, I'm going to go put some of this onto that and see how it looks. So. Alright, a bit of colour. Stay tuned. You can see the train track running through parallel with this road here. This is the main road that goes through to Coolum and, and then back through to Narendra. And I think that's why it's so common to see signs like this along the railway strips because they are just a great place to advertise. So let's bus go past. Yeah, so as you can see, there's a lot of traffic coming along here, and back in the day, a lot of trains, in particular passenger trains. So if you're, if you're driving through Gamain, yeah, you'd see all this sort of beer advertising, cigarette advertising, tobacco, um, petrol stuff like what's on the mobile sheds down there. All the way along here was, would have been advertising. I've seen lots of photos from the 20s and 30s of Gamain, and um, yeah, it was a very common theme along these sort of very busy thoroughfares. Um, you'll see that we've got a good section of the orange on today. We were going to paint in the black on the KB sign, but I just got carried away. I'd done a bit of a test patch of the, the orange, and then I started brushing a bit, and the next minute I was cutting in the letters. So I just went with it, and um, we sort of finished that first stage. It's only first coated, though. 
Um, the rest of the KB sign over there is marked out, except for the KB, which I'm about to do now. And then we'll pack the scaffold up for the day and then come back tomorrow for an early start. Um, I'm not sure how far we'll get tomorrow. It would be, I definitely want to get the background colour on that Toos one. Whether we get a second coat or not might be a bit of a big ask, but we'll just see. We'll have a crack. It just depends what time we get here and depends what the weather does. So that's where we're up to and we'll see what we can do tomorrow. Stay tuned. Good morning everyone, it is 5.30 on Friday morning and I've just arrived here at the workshop. Yeah. Near a big old train, we had to roll through town. Um, yeah, so we're going to wrap early, we're going to try and be on site by 6 o'clock this morning. Um, and the plan is to try and get all that orange on and see how time goes, we'll have a crack at the, um, the KB if possible. Um, but yeah, it's a nice fresh morning here. With that nice old train just rolling through there. One of the um, cool things about living in Coolman and having our workshops right here on the, um, let me see the train station over there. We're right on the train track, so yeah, we get some cool trains coming through here. So anyway, we go have a quick coffee back down to Gamain. A bit of pick Angus up first, but then down to Gamain, and we'll get into it. And hopefully, we'll see some progress with that big. Two signs today, the bit of rail one. Hopefully we can finish it, so stay tuned, see how we go. Here we are back on site and the sun's just coming up. So we've just got the scaffold out now. We're just unloading the ute and getting set up for the day, so. Um, we'll start prepping the KB sign. Turn your lights there, mate. Um, yeah, just while we're waiting for the sun to come up, and we've only got that little center section to finish prepping, and as soon as it's light enough, we're back into that one. Let's get into it. Starting to pop now. Oh, it's 10 o'clock, so we're going to duck down to the bakery and have some smoko. It's been a good morning, um, and it's starting to look pretty cool now. Just goes to show that the scale of the sign, it's really starting to jump out. Once that black border goes on, it'll really make that orange pop too and neaten things up. So everything's only first coated at this stage. So uh, once we get back from smoko, let's wait for the truck to go. Yeah, once we get back from Smoko, we will uh, go back up to the top and then just start working our way down, second coating everything, neatening everything up and uh, doing the border while we go. Um, yeah, and we'll just see where we land. Um, I'm not sure how long it's going to take to do that next coat. It'd be sweet if we had a couple of hours left at the end of the day to put a bit of black on the KB sign, but I can't guarantee that. I just want to make sure this one's right, so we'll just do our best and get as far as we can. Anyway. Go get something to eat and we'll be back. Stay tuned. We had to make a bit of an alteration to the scaffold. It's getting a bit warm down here. Hopefully that'll keep a bit of the sun off anyway. What do you reckon, Gussie? We have been defeated today. I was hoping to get that border on, but it's not to be. Um, it's been a warm one, and yeah, that second coating took a little bit longer than I expected, but you gotta do it right. So um, all the orange is completed. Um, obviously all the black's done. There's a few little touch-ups to do on the black. Um, but depending what the weather's like tomorrow, morning, come back tomorrow morning, tomorrow Saturday. Um, I'll just see how we go. And might knock that border in, and if I'm feeling it, I might even jump onto the KB, but we'll just see. Um, it'd be good to get both of them finished, but anyway, 
it's four o'clock and yeah it's been a big day i think it's time for a beer and um i think young gussie's had enough so have, have, have a good weekend everyone and we'll talk soon <laughs>
Um, as you would be aware, yesterday we got that sign finished and we got this far, all the black on this one. So today's only going to be a short day. I've got a charity event on this afternoon. So um, it's about nine o'clock now. We're going to, I'm basically all set up here. We're going to start putting some colour on. Um, I'm not sure if I'll get the whole background coated, but I'll just do as much as I can between now and say lunchtime, maybe one o'clock ish. So, um, yeah, you know, this one's going to be yellow. So, it'll be interesting to see how this one turns out. It'll be nice and bright as well. So, stay tuned. That's coming to give me a hand. What do you reckon, Bus Bus? You like the sign? Where are you, Bus? Right, I'm going to have to duck off and go get organised for this charity swim event we've got this afternoon. So, didn't get as far as I was hoping to, but you can see what's going on there. So, this one's going to be just as broad as the other one. So, we'll come back early tomorrow and hook in and have another crack at it. Can't go too hard on Sundays anyway. See you all next week. Morning everyone, it is Monday morning. We're back down here to have another crack at this Toos KB Lagos on. Gussie's just cleaned up a few brushes, scaffolds out. Um, I've got the yellow paint out, so we're just going to go straight to the top, start cutting in, and we're just going to go hammer and tong on this. I'd really like to do it today because of what we've got going on this week, but um, just not sure whether we'll get there, but we're going to have a red hot crack anyway. Righto, I better get into it. Talk soon. Righto, now we're getting somewhere. That's the first coat done. I'm um, not sure what the time is, but we're going to duck into town and have a bite to eat and a drink. It's getting pretty warm here. We're going to come back straight back up to the top and then um, we're going to mark the border out and start second coating and just work our way back down to the bottom again so we are getting there it's going to stand out this one still a bit undecided what to do with the t and the l whether it should be painted on the door we're not sure yet that's open to debate so we'll get back to you on that one right out talk soon that is us done and dusted down here in Gamain for this job anyway. So that's the Tooth KB Lager all finished. Stands out awesome, you're not going to miss that one in a hurry. As mentioned we're still open to discussions about the door, whether we paint it onto the door or not. Um, we're going to come back to that. And to Sydney Bitter Ale. It's been a big few days getting these done, um, especially with what we've got on our plate coming up with this charity rally at the end of the week. But um, oh, I feel so good to get these jobs done, and we've been getting a, a lot of um, cars bimping their horns and good comments on them. So I hope you enjoy them. Um, don't forget, if you like what you see, to subscribe. Um, feel free to comment on the on our videos. Let us know what you think. Um, yeah, and um, stay tuned for the next one. We've got some good ones coming up. Um, maybe here in Gamain again. I'm not sure, but. We'll get back to you there. Have a good one.